Not that long ago, I did a video where I compared flex tape against Gorilla Tape to see which one's the best. You may have seen it. And in that video on the comment section, I received a lot of comments. Does this work on pools? Can you put this on pool liners? Well, you know what? Today, we're gonna to test Flex Seal's pool patch, which consists of their flex tape and their flex glue. If you're new here, my name is Jeff, and this is Jeff Reviews For You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's put Flex Seal's pool patch to the test to see if it's any good. Here is my Flex Seal pool patch and repair kit. As you can see, it comes with some Flex Clear glue, and it also comes with, well, some Flex tape. So we do have a little QR code where we can scan for some directions. I'll check it out there. So I've unboxed my pool patch and repair kit, and what the directions from the QR tell us to do is we're only really applying the flex tape. They want you to put it on the inside of the pool and the outside of the pool. They say the inside first, and then the glue is used for any missing tiles on a different kind of pool. What I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try it just with the tape. I'm also gonna try applying some glue to the tape to see if I can get a better bond. Now, I do have some other flex tapes here and another flex glue. So we're gonna go check this out on the pool right now. I actually went and bought a roll of the eight inch flex clear tape and I'm a little worried because the directions tell you to make sure your tape does not have any wrinkles in it. And you can see on this roll, this is very wrinkled. So I'll be interested to see how that works out. So first things first, they tell us to find the leak. In our case, it was pretty easy because the leak is right there. So it's about almost an inch long of a leak right here, and you can see the water just spewing out. So the directions now tell you to make sure there's no oils on the inside or the outside of the pool. Let's clean it up. All right, so I finished cleaning the inside and the outside, and now I'm gonna take the full piece that they gave me in my patch repair kit and apply it to the inside. They also recommend having a hard surface, like a piece of wood, on the outside, just so you can smooth this out again. I have a piece of PVC um, trim, so I'm gonna use that. Now for the moment of truth, you can see that my leak is right here, and the hole on the inside is right there. My finger can stick right through here. So I have my PVC plastic for this side, I'm gonna peel off my flex tape underwater. So what I'm doing now is I'm holding the tape with my left hand against the PVC plastic. Just smooth, making sure it's completely smoothed out and sticking to the liner. Once I feel comfortable with that, I can now put it on the other side. You might be able to tell, but right here is the actual cut. Let me zoom in. The cool thing is it's not leaking at all and I actually wiped this off and it's completely dry, but they do want you to put a piece of the flex tape on the outside as well. So now we're gonna prep that. Our plastic is peeled off the tape. I'm gonna put my PVC on the inside and apply the tape here. Now, like I said before, these creases were already in the tape from when it was on the roll. So I'm just gonna try to smooth it out as best I can. Here's our patch. It's been on there now for 10 minutes and it is dry all the way around. There's no water leaking and this thing is still full. Pretty impressive. Um, I do worry about these corners. Like this couldn't stay down very well and I tried pushing it down but it just pops up. So I wonder if that will be a weak point. I'm going to leave this out here for a day or so just to see the progress over time. We already have one patch here completely following the directions of the flex tape. It's secured on the inside and the outside. Now I'm gonna actually put two more holes in and I'm gonna put a piece of tape on this side, just on the inside, and that side just on the outside to see if there's a huge difference. The flex tape is completely peeled. Let's put it on the inside of the pool and secure it to the hole. Now I'm gonna use my PVC to make sure it's got a firm bond. Now, let's do one on just the outside. Here we go. 
The directions do tell you that you can smooth this out with a credit card if you're not able to get it smoothed out just by doing it this way. It looks though we're getting a pretty good bond. So what are your thoughts so far of this pool patch from Flex Seal? Think it's gonna work? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. It's been 24 hours since we put our patches on. I'll zoom in on them. This is the first patch that's patched on the inside and the outside. As you can see, there's no leaks. This patch right here is the patch that was patched just on the inside and there are no leaks. Oh, sad to say. This patch right here is a patch that was patched on the outside and it just leaks just a little bit. I'm gonna try something different patching it this way, but you can see that it just leaks and it's been dripping really since I, about 20 minutes after I put it on. I want this test to run a little longer, so I'm actually gonna drain this and move this over to my driveway so it's off of my grass, but I'll fill it back up and I'm gonna check in during the week to see how the patches are holding up. Some of you may be aware that there's a chlorine shortage around and you can't find the little pool tabs anywhere. So I went on Amazon, I typed in three inch chlorine tablets and about two weeks later, this got delivered to my door. It's a three inch bucket that has these little tiny tablets the size of Tic Tacs in there. What would you even use this for? Well, I actually drilled some holes in it. I'm gonna put the cap back on. I'm gonna use it in my pool right here to keep the algae down. So this is interesting. After I drained the pool and moved it and then filled it back up, this patch that used to leak right through here is no longer leaking. I know the Flex company says that the tape works better over time, but that's pretty impressive. It has now been 10 days since I patched the pool on these three spots. These two here never leaked. This one here leaked from the beginning, but then I drained the pool and moved it, and I didn't do anything else to it, but since I refilled it, this has not leaked. I was really impressed with how it held up and blocked the leak. Now, it should be noted, this is not a permanent thing forever. It might get you through the pool season, but after a while, you probably will have to replace that liner, so just so you know that. So I have heard of people using Flex Clear glue with some Flex tape to make an ultimate patch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut yet another hole in this pool and test it out. But I'm also gonna use just a regular piece of the flex tape as a control just to see if there is a difference. Let's cut the holes and set this up. I have both cuts in there. They're about an inch long each. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this tube of flex glue first, use the tip of this to pop it open. And now I have the glue ready to come out. Let's peel our tape. Our tape has been peeled, and so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a healthy dose of this Flex Glue Clear. And then I'm gonna slap that right over top of the hole. Just like before, we're gonna take our PVC plastic to the inside of the pool and really smooth this out. As I've been squeezing this out, you can actually see that the flex glue clear is coming out around the edges. So it's getting all over the inside of the tape, completely making a solid bond. That's pretty cool. Now for the control side. I'm gonna get my PVC and hold this to the inside to try to get the best bond. We're gonna let these two patches sit for a little while, but I can already see that over here, there's water dripping down through the bottom of the patch, even though I held it for over 30 seconds. And this one, which I held for the same period of time, is not leaking at all. It's been five hours since we put these patches on. This side is where we put the flex glue and the flex tape, and this has never leaked. When I came and sat down here, there was a drip that came right down and it dripped right down to here. So this one is still dripping, although I will say the dripping is getting slower. It is still dripping nonetheless. I'm really excited about the patch with the glue because now I know that works. In this video, we are looking at Flex Seal's pool patch and here are my thoughts. First things first, I love it when a product works and I've used the tape before by itself and I've had mixed results. Sometimes it would leak, sometimes it wouldn't, just like in this video. But with the application that they recommended, putting a piece on the inside and a piece on the outside of that vinyl, that was awesome, super strong didn't leak. Now, that's not really possible in all applications. Sometimes you have a hard exterior on your pool with a liner on the inside. So I also wanted to try out if the 
flex glue worked with the flex tape and it absolutely did and I was very, very impressed. My only thoughts, I wish there was more product in that pool patch kit because I ended up going out and buying a new roll just so I can make sure I can do all these different patches. Then again, if you have that many patches, you probably should replace your liner. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. It's now been a week since I patched these two. This one right here is just flex tape and you can sort of see that it's still leaking down here at the bottom. Not as much as the beginning, but still leaking. This one had the flex glue and the flex tape. What I like about this is not all pool liners are the same. So this one you know will absolutely stop a leak. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review where we tested out Flex Seal's pool patch. You know what, not that long ago, I checked out another pool patch device and it's called Plugs It. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. It's a new and innovative product. Um, but if you've already seen that, I will link my original Flex Tape versus Gorilla Tape here. By the magic of the internet, when you click here or here, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click one, they're safe, I promise.